I, 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 do you know what? I, I think that Aiden might just be able to get Mogul. He's one ten at the moment. Mogul. He's two. He's two per. Sorry, Francesca. Shut up a minute. You'll have a chance. <laughs> <in this minute. laughs> um, I think Mogul is going to take. I can't fit my hands wide enough on the screen. Such a big step forward from his his run at Ascot. I think he's a big improver. I've seen him improving. 10, 12, 14 pounds off the back of that run. Talking of uh, your screen, Jason, who's the yes. 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 So who's the, looking the, jockey behind you? Well, the jockey could do with actually getting this bottom down a little bit, just bringing it down towards the saddle. That's Francesca riding a winner in France about 20 <laughs> kilos ago. Uh, 56, <laughs> just about there. Yeah. See, she's filling the screen a bit more now today. Oi! <laughs> um, yeah, so, Jessica, you're, you're going to get the right of reply. So, um, first of all, so anything that's been raised, and of course, some of your documents at the same time. Yeah, well, I mean, I've just been watching all the all the runs with horses kind of leading into this. And I watched Mogul again um, when he finished behind Car Driver. And look, Jason and I both commented before the race that in the paddock he looked, he looked a bit fat in it that way. Um, so he'll definitely come on a lot for that race. But I can't help thinking we get this every year a bit with the Adrian Brown horses. It's like, oh, which is the one, which is the one, oh, that's the one. And I feel like Mogul's been the one on everyone's lips. And you kind of make allowances, make exceptions for, for the fact that they're trained by him. And look, I'll probably be made to stupid and Mogul will come and win by five lengths. But what he's done on the track, especially this year, I'm, I'm not excited by him. Um, I would love, like Jason, I'd love English King to win, um, both because of that Paul Nielsen story. He's been passionate about it since, since forever. He grew up, I, mean, I think he went to school for a while in Epsom, and it's really been the race that drives him. And I think we really need uh, these owner breeders to keep supporting these middle distance races. Um, and also Ed Walker, of course, he was assistant to my father for a really long time. We worked together at, at Bedford House. Um, he was there when Curtin called ran and started for my dad who I used to ride every day and that was a really fun journey we went on together and also English King is out of uh, Platonic who is a daughter of Puce so that's very much a Fittick stud family so for all of those many reasons I'd love to see them win and obviously Frankie doing his triple Salka like uh, Jason says would just top it all off. Um, one horse, the one in the Iran battalion that I'd be quite worried about, who I really liked in the Irish 2000 Guineas, is Vatican City. He had no luck there, got out late, flew home, extra trip. I think, well, on his running pattern, I think would suit him. But if you look at his siblings, six siblings, and one of them got up to a mile and a half. So that's a small concern for me. But I think he's got a lot of plus for that. Okay. Um, so English City, pretty much the dream story for you. Ed, what about what about you? Who do you think will win, and what would you like to see happen? Uh, Story-wise, I agree with with the others. I, I think it wouldn't do the Derby any harm to have a non Valley Doyle winner this year. If I'm honest, Richard, though, as amazing as it would be for Aidan to to break the record and train an eighth, English King would be the best story in terms of Frankie for the coverage, Bjorn Nielsen, and Pile Driver, as we discussed. Uh, if you look at the market. I'm amazed Cameco is not favourite, if I'm honest. Um, I couldn't back English King at 5-2. to two. I couldn't back Cameco with a stamina of doubts and the way he goes right. The, the Camber might counteract that, I imagine, Jason, uh, for Cameco. 7-2, to two, again, I could easily pass him by. Aidan's lot, I'm not sure of that great this year. I'm afraid, Francesco, I don't think Vatican City's got a hope of staying. And I think it's, well, it's a race to chuck a Hail Mary at, if I'm honest, Richard, with the strange nature of the race. And I would chuck a few quid 40-1 to one at Worthily, actually. Um, who won his maiden a few weeks ago at Newbury. The further they, I think they will go very quick. I think that's guaranteed. I think they'll go very quick with Cameco, the target, to draw out his stamina. So you're going to have to stay. And worthily related to Locarno and co, I think the further they go, the better he will go. So I'd rather at the prices avoid all the short ones and go for an absolute uh, shot at 33, 40 to 1. And worthily will get my each way money. Yeah, he'd be some story in the sense that he'd have made his debut after the race is normally run because he didn't see a race course. <laughs> it's that kind of year, though, isn't it? <laughs> so, as a result, that would be a story. Richard? Who's your pick, Richard? So, I, I'm going safe with Russian Emperor because I think he'll certainly stay, to be honest. Uh, whether he's quite got the class, I can see that. But I agree with English King being too short. I agree with Kamiko potentially having the stamina doubts. 
So I think Russian Emperor is the one who's going to improve for the step up to, to a mile and a half. He's looked on both his runs, the one in Ireland where he finished second, in what's traditionally one of the stronger trials for Aiden at the Derringstown. Um, I think he should be there or thereabouts. I share your concerns that local, it's all talk so far. And what did he cost? 3.4 million or something, and the car driver couldn't get sold for 10 grand. So car driver would be great. But you might have just to forgive me that what I really hope for is that Aura Naveen doesn't eat up the night before. <laughs> <laughs> it I've been run. many a time. Aron Naveen. Aron Naveen. Yeah, I've been practicing. No, I do think after, after, after Ennis Tymon, we should absolutely butcher it with a little smile on our face. Go, Amran <laughs> Nabamprana. <laughs> the thing is, even if you get it right, no one knows what the hell which horse you're talking about anyway. <laughs> people up and down the land. So, okay, so yeah. I'm going to weigh in with Russian Emperor.